Hey loves, hey, today I'm bringing you a two-in-one DIY video. I'll be showing you how I make my Ayurvedic Amla hair mask, which promotes hair growth and length retention, and my fenugreek hibiscus hydrating mist. So if you're interested, keep watching. Let's jump into these ingredients. You're gonna need hibiscus flowers, which have amazing conditioning properties, promotes growth, and protects your hair from UV rays. Fenugreek seeds, which have antibacterial properties, promotes growth, and the list goes on. Amla, which is a game-changing ingredient that strengthens your hair follicles, helps combat hair loss, and conditions your hair. Brahmi powder, which helps prevent split ends, promotes overall hair health and growth. Brimraj, which promotes growth, treats scalp issues, baldness, and many other things. You'll need an oil. I like to use my DIY Ayurvedic hair oil, which I have a tutorial for. To make the mask, you'll need fenugreek tea, which is one fourth a cup of fenugreek seeds and two cups of boiling water. Once it cools down, store it in the refrigerator. For the next tea, you'll add three tablespoons of hibiscus flowers to a mason jar and pour two cups of boiling water into the jar. You'll let it cool down and then store it in the refrigerator overnight. Okay, so 48 hours later, you're gonna heat up the mason jars with the fenugreek tea and the hibiscus flower tea using the double boiler method. Now we're gonna prep the mask. You're gonna need 1 4 a cup of amla powder, 1 4 a cup of brahmi powder, 1 4 a cup of broom raj. Once the teas are piping hot, you're gonna add half a cup of each tea into your mask mix. You're gonna keep adding some of the teas bit by bit until you get a consistency that you're happy with. I like my mask to be a cake batter like consistency because it makes it easy to apply and I think it minimizes the mess in applying this mask to your hair. Finally, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of my DIY Ayurvedic hair oil. Now, this will be a little bit gritty. If you don't like the grit, you can use a cheesecloth to strain the mask and make the mask more smoother. If you're gonna do that, I recommend doing it before you add your oil. So then you'll keep stirring it and adding your tea until you're completely happy with the consistency and smoothness of the mask. I keep alternating between the fenugreek tea and the hibiscus tea because I want them to be equal amounts in my mask. And then you're ready for application. I like to apply my mask from root to tip in the same way that you would apply a relaxer or dye. And so that's what I'm doing here. This is what my hair looks like when I have done every single section wasn't that messy to be honest and so i'm actually happy with what it's looking like my hair is completely coated once i'm done with the application i'm going to put a plastic cap over my hair and use my thermal care heating cap to help with the conditioning process okay now for the fenugreek and hibiscus hydrating mist i'll use the remaining amounts of the hibiscus and fenugreek teas i'll strain them and then add them into a spray bottle and voila, they're ready to use. So you can store this in the refrigerator. Um, you can use it daily in the same way that you would use your store-bought or normal moisturizer. If you wanna preserve this tea longer than a week, um, I recommend you split it in half if you're making a larger amount and put half of you know the amount that you make into the freezer and that way you'll get more uses or a longer use out of your tea. So yeah, that's all I have for this video. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.